having four boys is no joke. Good morning, guys. It's been kind of a crazy rushed morning. I hate those. But I set my alarm and I snoozed a couple, probably six times. Um, so yeah, I got up later than I should have. And as a result, I am leaving a little bit later than I should, so. Consequences. But, <clears throat> yeah, today is business as usual. It is Wednesday, September 27th. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So for breakfast, so for breakfast, I have my smoothie. which I know I've explained every single day, but again, it is one full banana, six frozen strawberries. I'm really sorry if you can hear Logan's tablet. It's like super loud in the back. Um, one banana, six frozen strawberries, half a carton of vanilla Premier Protein for one point, and two tablespoons of PB2 for one point. So the smoothie is two points. I have my coffee, which is four tablespoons of hood fat-free half and half for one point still cold brew coffee and <clears throat> three packets of stevia so my coffee is one point smoothie is two and breakfast is three and for lunch it's the same thing i have my oikos triple zero greek yogurt for three points um, and then I have my Jolly Time popcorn for three points. It's 100 calorie bag. It's just butter flavor. And then I have a nectarine and my sliced apples, which the sliced apples I kind of do like as a mid-morning snack. Um, so yeah, that's nine points total for the food that I brought for breakfast and lunch. And I have 21 points left for dinner. And I will catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. Um, I learned my lesson from having my air conditioner on yesterday um, because it was super loud you couldn't hear anything I was saying and it was obnoxious and I think the clip lasted like four minutes so I apologize for that in advance um, so it's 89 degrees today and I'm dying in my car it's so it just feels so humid like you could cut the air when you step outside but um, anyways I just wanted to check in I just got out of work and that's about it. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner, and I'm not even going to project because the last two days that I have told you what I think I'm going to have for dinner, I end up not having anything relatively close to it. Um, but that's about it. I don't have anything else to say. I have to go get Logan from daycare, um, and then the rest of my children are home with my mom. Um, typically, my kids, my three out of four of my children are watched by my mom on Wednesday and Thursday and um, one of them goes to daycare. Typically what we'll do is switch off my older two so all four boys go on Tuesday and then Wednesday usually it's my son Logan who's my second oldest and then my oldest Liam will go Thursday um, and then the rest of the three that aren't at daycare obviously are staying with my mom and then Fridays which I don't know why I'm all of a sudden going over my daycare schedule but we're here now. Um, Fridays I am home with the kids because I work Monday through Thursday so it's kind of a really nice combination of exposure to daycare and other children but at the same time they still get to see like their nana their grandpa typically when my mom watches the kids my dad does come over now um, so they get to see their nana their grandpa and then they get to hang out with mom on Fridays and then um, my husband and I are both home on Saturday and then they're home with mommy on Sunday, my husband works Sundays, and then Mondays they're home with daddy. So it's a good combination of seeing their parents, seeing their grandparents, and just seeing other kids and going to daycare and kind of figuring out like a school environment or that kind of um, schedule and structure. So I really um, am so blessed that my mom can watch my children, um, but the poor thing needs a knee replacement. So she just, I am, completely healthy and I have a hard time keeping up with my four crazy boys ages four three and one year old twins so I can only imagine how difficult it is for her because she's almost got bone on bone in what knee is it I think it's her left knee 
Um, but she just recently had a cortisone injection and the doctor said um, she's not at the point yet where she needs a knee replacement, but they're going to do an x-ray on the knee in December to see if it progressed from the last year because she had one in December of 2016 and they're going to compare what her knee looks like and then I think they're thinking surgery probably February of 2018. So that's going to be a whole new ball game and we're going to have to figure out daycare and work and all that because then that's probably about six to eight weeks. I think it's about eight weeks for a full recovery from a knee replacement. Yeah, I would say eight weeks is pretty much the, the standard. Um, and my mom's my daycare for Wednesday, Thursday. So what I'm thinking is that my husband and I are going to have to each take off we're either going to have to find somebody that can cover Wednesday and Thursday for three kids, which is not an easy task, or we are going to just have to take off like eight Wednesdays for me and eight Thursdays for him. So either way, it's not ideal, but we have to do what we have to do. My mom needs to be healthy and that's the most important thing. So anyways, total tangent. I'm going to get my son. Bye. What are you doing? That's a very dangerous way to eat granola bar, monkey. Is there a dangerous way to eat granola bar? Yeah. Oh, oh, you got pieces of it in your eye. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Rub your eye? Yeah. You get strawberry granola bar in your eye? No. You sure? Yeah, You say, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Look, it's like, hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. You're silly. Um, you say good night. So, I went to BJ's today and I literally had to restock on pouches because my son, Brody, my youngest, aka the youngest of the twins, only eats pouches. So, seven boxes. Nope, you forgot one. <laughs> so yeah, that is basically all this kid eats. So we have to make sure we have a thousand pouches. That was a, terrible. We have to make sure we have a thousand pouches because my older ones typically eat the applesauce and yogurt. Oh, and here we go. We have our first victim. All right, you can grab one and then you got to go to bed. But yeah, that's why we have to go to the, um, we have to buy everything in bulk because having four boys is no joke. <laughs> I'm really digging the Wisconsin accent lately. Or maybe it's Canadian, I don't know. I could go for Canadian. It, it's like kind of a combination. But I've been told it's like a, a like a Jamaican Canadian because I, I like I sort of uh, do certain things a different way. This is just kind of how I think I want to live my life now. <laughs> is that a silly? Yeah. Now right, recycling. Let's go. Okay. Hold it open. Okay. If you close this door, I will be locked in the garage. He forever. doesn't. He doesn't understand what he's supposed to do. Hold Logan, the door open. hold the door for Dada. Move. If you close it, if you close it, Daddy can't ever come back. I'll be stuck in the garage forever. Deal? Deal. Oh boy. Look at that bug. <laughs> Look at the bug. Yeah, door's gonna shut. <laughs> Daddy can never right. come back. Come on, Dory. Did you? What was that word you just said? Dory. I thought you said dork. Dory, like the fish. But it was like dork. Okay. So I'm so sorry that you didn't get a visual <laughs> of this, but this was dinner. Um, my mom had actually made this when I came home. It was all um, heated up. It's just a, I don't want to say a mini, yeah, it is a mini pot, pot pie. Chicken pot pie. I just called it a pot pot pie. Um, so who is this by? Ms., Mrs. Buds. Um, these are actually um, delicious, but um, it's fully baked white meat chicken and it had carrots and peas and i don't know if it had potato to be perfectly honest i'm trying to read and of course half of the ingredient 
list has been ripped off because there was a price tag over it. So in order for me to scan it, I had to rip off the price tag. But anyways, this was pretty delicious and it was 12 points. My son Brady actually did have maybe like less than a quarter of it. So I just counted this as the whole thing for me. So this is 12 points. I still have nine points left. So I'm going to eat something with that, but I will show you. I did just want to mention one thing that I deserve a pat on the back for because these are just staring at me and I want to eat one so badly, but I'm not going to. So for the last part of my dinner, um, I ended up having, this actually wasn't even a full, so my twins ate some of this, but I had some more of this, the pirate's booty. It's basically the rice corn curls. Um, I'm having a really rough time with craving salt at night, so that's been helping. Um, so that was, the whole bag is four points. The amount that was left I counted as three. Um, and then I'm having one of these, which I haven't had in a while. This used to be my staple breakfast for those of you that watch my vlogs, my older vlog, bleh, older vlogs. Um, so these are six points, and again, they're the egg spinach and cheese flatbread medley so I'm honestly just so tired and not feeling cooking. So this is a good alternative or just something quick and easy. So you just take it out of its outer packaging. It comes like this. And then you just take it out of the package, wrap it in a paper towel, and microwave it for a minute and 15 seconds, and it's good to go. So I'm going to enjoy that. That's six points. The Pirate's Booty was three. And that's it. That concludes my points for the day. And I'm going to make my vlog. And probably drink some water because I've barely had any water today. And that's it. I apologize. This vlog wasn't very energetic, but I'm just very tired today. And it's Wednesday and it's just been crazy, crazy craziness. Mainly at work. Surprisingly, my work life is a little more crazy than my home life right now. So... Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.